see which one of these guys gets to run back against Alakai, because Alakai is looking like, looking like he might just take it. Now we're going back into the Bison Sage, seeming to be Stickman's favorite. Round one. Fight. Another very patient match. I guess I guess almost every character wants to play patient against Abigail. So patient that Mr. Hong just eats a dash of throw. But Stickman continuing to be really on top of his anti-airs, although only one hit connects so he doesn't get a whole lot off of it. They continue to play very patient. Good recognition from Mr. Honk on that uh, V skill, but too far away. And Stickman's able to take advantage of that, jumping right over that run. Stickman is getting by far the better out of Mr. Honk in these patient situations, just shifting, shifting away on that, on that help. Not afraid to block things, not afraid to get out of there. Using his space well, although miss space that B skill. No, uh, no challenge on Miss Hong though, as he gets another dash up. Ooh, I was gonna say, I'm like, bro, you're not gonna do enough damage to kill, you should have spent the critical earth. Looks how much I, I know, he spends two bar, gets the kill. Saves another one on there. And then a bad anti air out of that, uh, out of that flip too far away. Mr. Hong will get a pretty good punish off of that. This time just using the EX, EX up for the challenge that run. Didn't want to deal with any of the options that uh, Mr. Honk had. And then it, and then Mr. Honk throwing that command grab just a little bit too soon. Took man able to punish it. Just a little bit though. As a ooh, bad psycho upper out of stick man, although Miss Long only does a small punish into me instead of crush counter. Into V trigger into stun. That's definitely a stun. As a Mr. Honk continues his combos, not spending the uh not spending the, the bar for the third kill, because he's looking at that life lead makes sense to me. He saves the whole critical art for this third for this third round. Looks like Mr. Hawk's starting to be a little bit more active in this game. He's starting to get the better of it. He's starting to challenge those beast skills. He's starting to play much more active in the game and force a stick man to throw out an EX upper. Getting some good anti airs too into that command grab. And Stickman is looking like he's in trouble. He uses the V-reversal to get himself out of the corner and give himself just a little bit more space. A little bit more space. As Kirby Pop is now out of the tournament, hosts me with a, a five-viewer host. That's what that sound was. In case anyone. Ooh! Uses the armor to punish that, uh... Had a heavy punch, but no confirm. There's a confirm, though. There's a confirm, and Mr. Hunk brings it back to take game one. Abigail wins. Round one. Fight. I'm really liking how active Mr. Hawk's being now. He was playing way too passively at the first, and he's able to get uh, he's able to get the stuff going. And uh, Kirby Poppins, don't worry about it too much. Uh, I was just I was just playing up the uh, the irritation a little bit. But don't worry too much. It's all good. It's all good. Going back, we're going back to Mr. Hawk. Really, just 
burning this whole match of ground, the sick man looks like he's unsure of how to how to play it. Cox has another commanding life lead. I'm not sure if reflecting that he still works, but uh, we'll never know as it was a little bit too far away. Round two. And even though uh, Six Man's able to sniff out that, that overhead or that flip, I like how, or I was liking how active Mr. Honk is. Now he seems to be going back to a little bit of the passive game, which is no good, but Six Man not recognizing that cross up, taking a full jump and force the EX up on another command run. I like the EX up on the command runs. The, it's a good answer to that. Uh, there's only so much you can do. There's only so many times you can do that. As Mr. Hunt gets a jump in into Critical Art, which could be enough. Yeah, that's that is more than enough. He takes game two. Game two. Looking like he's the one that's gonna be going up against uh, get his run back against Alakai. Mr. Hong is playing much more active in the game and it doesn't seem like Sick Man be able to hit him with anything. I guess he was able to hit him with that heavy bump. And good, good extension off that trade too. Gets the jump in, or gets the dash up throw. And he the jump in. And Sick Man, I... Sick Man starting to look pretty good this round. Really turning it on. Putting it onto, uh, onto Mr. Hong. Oh, tries to do the dash walk up throw, but just a little bit too far away for that to work as Mr. Hong challenges it with a crouching light kick. Gets his combo. Into oh, not close enough to combo into that uh into that V trigger as the whole V trigger is wasted. Oh, and then dashes right into that into that overhead, into counter it, but no! No critical are confirmed, doesn't matter. Able to get the, the read on the EX upper, but man, that was risky. That was risky. Who oh, will? Good recognition on getting that jumping, but a little bit too far away in order to get that combo to hit. <laughs> this wrong rolls his way on up there. Gets the empty jump, probably trying to bait out an EX upper, but none of them came. As he is able to get that um, angry command run grab. I've brought up my uh, controls for some reason, that's okay. As Mr. Hong's able to get, to get another command, command run grab. Ooh! Missed combat of stick man, but no punish out of Mr. Hong as he eats another EX upper. And just a raw activation of that V trigger to get it started. Kind of makes sense that that guard break property is going to allow him to take the game. Oh, never mind. Who needs guard break properties when you can just get a counter hit combo? With that, Mr. Hawk takes it for 3 0. 3 0. Queen. Queen. With that, it's going to be Alakai versus Mr. Punk.